less than a week away from the election and allegations against one candidate results in an ethics complaint. CBS 42 News reporter Corey McGinnis joins us now live in studio. Corey, the Jefferson County Republican Party filed this complaint. What do you have? Yeah, Sherry, good evening. They have the Republican Party says Marshall Hatcher, the Democrat candidate for circuit court judge, has been using her campaign account to pay her utility bills. I would think that the people that are funding her, that are donating to her, would probably not think that was the right thing to do with their money. Chairman of the Jefferson County Republican Party, Sally Bryant, claims that Democratic candidate running for circuit court judge Marshall Hatcher has been using her campaign account to pay her utility bills. I sort of question why someone would just think they can pay their power bill and their water bill out of a campaign account. I got my hand on Hatcher's candidate and elected official campaign finance report. The Fair Campaign Practices Act requires candidates and elected officials to file them every month from the time they certify having a campaign. We found out that Hatcher has spent money on utilities for Alabama Power and Birmingham Waterworks. I reached out to her campaign and they didn't want to speak on camera, but her spokesman showed me these bills, which are addressed to this location which the spokesperson says is her campaign building. We learned that it is legal to use expenses for a campaign building. I took this information to the Republican Party, who says the issue still needs to be addressed. There is no indication on her reports that she actually has a campaign building. I just feel like it needs to come out publicly. Now, we just got this statement in within the past hour or so directly from Marshall Hatcher saying, quote, it is unfortunate that this campaign has been reduced to such ugly actions by my opponent. It is no coincidence that this press release is sent to news organizations five days before the election. The allegations are absolutely false, end quote. We'll continue to keep you updated on this race and this story. Live in the studio tonight, Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.